What is going on everybody? Mattitude22 back today bringing you guys another figure review. So today we are looking at the Marvel Legends Man-Thing Build-A-Figure series Electra. This is Electra from the Netflix TV show Daredevil. Of course you can see the Daredevil logo there. So taking a quick look at the packaging right on the top it says Legends series. Man thing build a figure, and of course she has her own little logo on the top of the box. Is that like a hair or something? Is that a hair? Get out! Get out of there! What are you doing? Come on! She has her own little logo. Pretty cool. Nice picture of Electra on the side. And if you guys missed that, don't worry, cause they got the same thing on the other side. Some uh, writing and whatnot on the bottom of the box. On the back, nice image of the figure, looking pretty cool. There are the other figures in the wave, and of course, the Build-A-Figure Man thing, writing and stuff there. Nice little brief bio of the figure right there. If you want to read that, you can go ahead and pause this video. But uh, probably don't need to, because probably by the time I, I finish talking, you've already had plenty of time to read that. Alright, so yeah, that is the figure in her package, guys. Pretty standard Legends pack. Pretty standard Legends packaging. So guys, I'm going to take a quick break. We will get her out of the package and take a closer look. Alright guys, so now we have Electra out of the packaging. And not a big fan of this figure. I think this is definitely, for, for me, this is the weakest figure in the wave. And uh, we'll talk about her and I'll tell you guys why. Let's just get rid of these size for now. She does actually hold them pretty well. I, I kind of like that. Like now I'm actually like having difficulty getting them out. Yeah, I wedged them in. There you go. There we go. Let's get those out. We'll take a look at those later. So first of all, she's not very impressive to any degree. Like, I mean, when you talk about figures, that's just a head on a body. This is, this is that figure, man. She's just, to me, it's just a girl in a black suit. I, I mean, I guess it does, it looks okay. Like, you could see where the jeans are. You could see they painted the little button right there. So that's kind of nice. And there is some nice detail on the jeans. But, I mean, overall, it, it's black jeans. Nothing too impressive. No paint apps on the leg, nothing like that. But I guess she's a ninja or an assassin so I guess we can forgive that but yeah hands look pretty good she's got some red kind of right there where the palm is and stuff and then the fingers are all black so that's pretty nicely detailed I like the hair color I think uh, I think I like the hair color and I like the hair sculpt I think they did a pretty good job of creating a, a nice ponytail and kind of Nice effect right there. So I think they did a good job with the hair. I do like that. And the face is pretty good. It's hard to place on if it looks like the girl who plays Electra in the show. You know who it actually like makes me think of? You know who this actually reminds me of? And you guys can tell me. Tell me if I'm tripping. Tell me if I'm tripping. But she looks like uh, Jean Grey from the X-Men movies. Like the first three. I don't know. That's just what it looks like to me. If I'm tripping, tell me in the comments. And of course she has a red scarf and the red piece covering her mouth, whatever you call that. I don't know, I would just call it a scarf, but maybe there's a, an official name for it. So yeah guys, other than that, not too much to talk about with this one. Uh, so getting right into her articulation, the head moves side to side. And it looks pretty good up and decent amount down so you get a good mo range of motion on the head so ball peg for the shoulders they move in this far single jointed elbow I, I don't need to talk about Hasbro not giving us double jointed elbows for the females give us freaking double jointed elbows for the females come on just do it wrist rotates and hinges back and forth she does have a diaphragm joint and that moves side to side and you get a good range of motion for the backwards and the forward so she can move pretty far so I do like the diaphragm joint definitely uh, 
works quite well with her. You have a double ball peg for the hips and her legs move out this far and she can kick this far forward and not really far back to any degree. She has a, she swivels at the top of the leg, thigh swivel, thigh swivel, I, I, I couldn't think of it for a second guys, sorry about that. Double jointed knee, very nice range of motion, very good bend. So all in all, pretty happy with that. And the ankles do hinge side to side and back and forth. So those are pretty good. So yeah, now getting right into her accessories, if we can take, oh, stand her up, there we go. She comes with this alternate head, which is pretty much the same head, same sculpt, just without the piece covering the face. And I don't know guys, let, let me know if I'm tripping, but she looks like the girl from the play Jean in the first three X-Men movies. And other than that, she comes with her trusty sigh, and they're pretty much just some silver molded plastic for the blade and a black handle, but they are pretty cool. And I, I gotta say, all in all, she does hold them pretty well. And uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for... For her, she comes with a man thing piece. I can't remember which piece it is because I've already built man thing, but uh, I think it might be his arm. She comes with a, she definitely comes with a man thing piece. I think it's his arm, but I could be wrong. So guys, that is pretty much your Netflix Electra. I, I mean. When I determine whether or not I think you should pick up a Legends figure, I, I base it off of, like, let's say you're not trying. And there she goes. I, I don't know where she is, guys. I base it off of the fact that you are not trying to finish off the Build-A-Figure. So I, I don't really think you should pick this figure up. If you, if you have no interest in Man-Thing, I say you could pass... Because she was a pretty forgettable character in the show. I mean, I know she was a little bit more prominent in Defenders. But this is the Daredevil version. So, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you want to get the Daredevil, you maybe want to pick her up. I, I don't think it's an essential piece. And I don't think it's a very great figure. I, I, I say if you pass, get Punisher, Daredevil, get everything else in the wave. You, you can leave her sitting there. And I don't think you're missing out. But... That's just my opinion. I don't think she's very good. I say go ahead and pass on this one. And I, guys, I hope you don't pass on this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Because you definitely don't want to miss a video. We have fun here. I got videos for you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Five days a week. I'm help trying to help you guys get through that work week. With a video every day. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment because I always love hearing from you guys. I always love to hear what you guys got to say. Follow me on social media. I will leave the links to my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter in the description. And with that, guys, that's all I got to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I will catch you guys next time with another figure review. And bye.